The 2013 Futures 50 Classic brought together athletes with a wide variety of backgrounds. From a pro surfer to someone who calls Sweden home, this tournament had a little bit of everything. Wow. It's an amazing, an amazing invitation. I was jumping around, screaming, crying, and then I just fell asleep because I was just running around the entire house. It's awesome, it's just a really competitive atmosphere and you come in here and you just want to, you know, prove to everyone that you want to win. It's the top 50, it's the best players in the United States, so at this level it's more elite and more intense. I mean, I'm, I'm nervous because I haven't been practicing that much yet. It's great to have her out here. I mean, number one, she's an incredible talent. You know, she's a phenomenal athlete and she's long. She's got great explosiveness and quickness. And um, she's got the perfect demeanor to be in the goal as well. It shows you that, you know, it, if you have what it takes and you really want it, that you're going to get an opportunity. And, you know, she's made the most of her opportunities this summer, you know, winning a Junior World Championship. and. I'm excited to get her back in the fold. I love, I've always been a water baby. I just love being in the pool and in the ocean. Yeah, first of all, she's got to teach me how to surf. It's tough. It's completely different, you know. Um, surfing, getting the individual win, it's awesome. You feel, you know, a very accomplished, but just the whole team atmosphere and aspect, you know, like growing and working together as a team is pretty unbelievable. Obviously, incredible talent surfing-wise, but she's, she's a great player. She's got excellent vision. Um, and really sees the game very well. And um, now I just need to try to continue to convince her that uh, water polo is the sport of choice instead of surfing. There you go, I pick both, that's my plan. <laughs> Olympic gold and then, uh, and then a um, world title. I've, I've always said slow and steady wins the race, so you know I'm just trying my best to, to keep in it and get better and better. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I denied her an opportunity before. But you gotta appreciate the the, the feistiness and the stick to itiveness to, to come back and to continue to push um, me and, and to give her another chance and give her an opportunity and, and we gave her an opportunity. She did a nice job with it. I just went into the tryouts thinking I have to give it my all and you know pass with flying colors. So that's what I did and I'm happy to be here. I think it gives uh, girls who aren't from California a, an opportunity and chance to to be in the water polo world and not think that, you know, just because they're from Chicago or, or New York or somewhere outside of Cal California that they're not capable of being or competing on this high level of play. I live in Sweden. I currently live in Sweden. I was born in America. I lived in New York or just outside of New York till I was four. I got into water polo, which is a very small sport in Sweden, and I believe that there are bigger, better options in America, so I try to play here. I'm not over in uh, Stockholm, uh, you know, recruiting or sc <laughs> scouting. I read about the open tryouts on USA Water Polo and we decided to just go for it. Like, why not? I have a pretty good beat on uh, most of the players, but uh, I had no idea what to expect. I think anyone, first of all, who's making that commitment to come from Sweden, come to an open tryout, you know, shows, you know, how much they want to get better. and. That's the first step to being a better water polo player, you know, you have to want it yourself. I've been so blessed with the people that I met because everybody has seen that I want this so bad. So people have been helping me so much, which made this possible. You know, it's great to have people who are really passionate about it because that spreads, rubs off to everyone around them. Now have a good day. Just getting invited to this tournament doesn't secure anyone an Olympic berth, but it is a big step in the right direction for these four women. From Foothill High School, Greg Meskel, USA Water Polo TV.